even after you plan and organize your information sources. You may not use all the material that is collected. Hence, selecting the material collected is an important stage in writing literature review. So, in this module, we are going to cover how to collect material of different types and also selection of material for literature review. Objectives. At the end of this module, you will be able to list material used for literature review and explain the steps of selecting material for literature review. Material. Now about the material that you are using. If you are finding that the earlier researchers have used some models and you are going to use that model or if you are not using going to use the model. For example, if you are using role theory by Uday Parikh, then you should give justification as to why you are using it and what has been done by earlier people, which type of role theory they have used and if you are using some different theory, why you are using and what is the base for the choice of your theory or even for the model if you are using any model or if you are using any survey instrument, why this should be given. You can also think about the methodologies. For example, behavioral studies cannot be done in quantitative manner. So if you think that such studies are done quantitatively in a survey method, then if you are using other methodology, you can say that earlier methods, earlier researchers have used this method and why you are changing the method, why you have, uh, what is the reason that you are not using that same methodology. So this will give you a good background for your work. You should also think of the background context provided by earlier researchers, compare it with what you are going to do and all these theories, models, instead of just imitating the earlier people, think on them whether any latest model has come, any latest theory has come, so that this will provide a background material for your own literature review. Now how this will set a context as a background for your work, let us see with the example. For example, one of the researchers used Kirkpatrick model of evaluation of continuing education programs. She mentioned that the model has not been used in the studies she found. And this you, she could find only on the basis of listing the material and selecting the material. So, she chose different model which was not used by any other researcher for her work and thus the background for her work was set. Selection for writing. Now if you are getting any ready-made bibliographies, maybe on the net or in a book form or in a journal article, then refer to so those bibliographies. Next stage after referring to the bibliography is select the quality documents out of it. Now what are quality documents? Quality documents mean, means those documents which are primary documents that is based on original research that is journal articles, standards, patents, all these or even thesis and dissertations are quality documents. So give priority to the quality documents and select them for your literature review. Now after selection, you have to categorize the documents in a certain manner. There are two ways of categorizing which we are going to see later. So you have to see the relevance and also the importance of source of the selected material which you are going to use for your literature review. Selection 
after selection and categorization of the documents, you have to decide on the focus of your study. So decide the focus on, of your study after knowing what is not there. After deciding the focus, you can know what is relevant and what is irrelevant for your studies. Accordingly, weed out the irrelevant material or documents or even unwanted references and prepare four or five lines abstracts of the selected documents. Please do not use the ready-made abstracts that are given in the journals or journal articles. Summary. From the material you collect, you can find theories as well as models used by other researchers, even methodologies used by them. You will now start selecting the material and use all these factors as background material for setting the context since you already know the background context of the earlier studies. So you will prepare your own background for your literature review. To further summarize, you may refer to ready-made bibliographies. You may select quality documents. This is very important. You categorize the documents and weed out. You decide your focus. Weed out irrelevant documents. Prepare abstracts of all the selected documents. Thus, you should collect, list, select, categorize and record the material that you have found in libraries or from the internet. Thank you.